Welcome back to the channel, Man Your Focus, and today we're making some jalapeno poppers. First things first, go out, get you some nice jalapenos, and you're going to cut those bad boys in half. Next, what you want to do is get you a spoon and core out the center. So all the heat is in the membrane and the seed. So on the Scoville level, you're looking at about a 2,500 to 8,000 units. So these bad boys can get hot. So if you don't like hot things, go ahead and core that whole thing out. So when you see me right here, I'm leaving just a little bit of that membrane in there because I like a little bit of heat. Get you some chives and dice those bad boys up. This is going to go into your cream cheese mixture later on grated cheese you gotta have some freshly grated cheese and this is an eight ounce block now you got eight ounces of cream cheese you're adding your chives back in add a teaspoon of onion powder Now you're gonna add a teaspoon of garlic powder. A teaspoon of smoked paprika. And finally, you're gonna add a teaspoon of cumin seasoning. Now you wanna knead these ingredients together, making sure that everything is mixed well. Now if your spatula isn't working and your cream cheese is still on the hard side, get your spoon and it really doesn't matter how well it looks at this point because it's going right back into your jalapeno poppers so get you about a spoonful and fill that jalapeno boat back up with your cream cheese mix and in this step you want to use your hands to make sure that the cream cheese mixture is firmly placed into your boat Now, if you're new to this channel, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Next, you want to set up three stations and coat these jalapeno poppers generously. First station is a cup of flour. Your second station is a cup of milk and two eggs. And your third station finally is a cup and a half of breadcrumbs. And it's critical in this stage here that you make sure that your breadcrumbs are packed on. And when you get to the bottom side, leave a mountain of breadcrumbs and allow that mixture of milk and eggs to bind with those breadcrumbs. And then you're gonna place these in the freezer for 10 minutes. Get your fryer ready and heat it up. And you wanna have your fryer set at 350 degrees. When you place your jalapeno poppers in, you wanna make sure that you put them bottom side up so that your mixture of your breadcrumbs and flour doesn't come off in the fryer. And then you take those bad boys out golden brown. All right, you've seen the recipe. Now it's time to taste these bad boys. I'm going to give y'all just a little preview right there. Mmm. Look at that cheese right there. Man, that thing is busting, man. Mmm. 